It's time for Tech Time with Timmy. Hello, welcome to Tech Time with Timmy. In this video, Timmy's gonna be talking about how to add a watermark to Google Docs. So on Google Docs, if you're typing a document and you wanna add a watermark to it that looks like this, well, it doesn't have to look exactly like this, but a watermark like this sort of idea where there's text and then there's a thing under it to show maybe that's showing that it's a draft or maybe it's showing who made it and things like that so you can put whatever you want there on your watermark so if you want to make a watermark like this for Google Docs in this video Timmy's going to show you how so unfortunately there's no simple way to just easily make a watermark in Google Docs but there is actually a workaround you can do using Google Drawings and then you can add it into your Google Doc so Timmy's got this Google Doc here that has no watermark but once you've got your document ready, you'll need to go to Google Drive. So just go to drive.google.com and then it will take you to Google Drive. And because you're using Google Docs, you should already be signed in. So it will just take you straight to Google Drive. And then click on this new button in the top left hand corner and come down to more and then come across to Google Drawings and click on Google Drawings, and this will create a new Google Drawing. There's also a way you can create a drawing from within Google Docs, but that has less features and you won't be able to do some of the stuff you need in there. So you need to do it this way by going through Google Drive. So once you've opened up your Google Drawing, you'll need to change the shape and size of your Google Drawing to fit perfectly inside your Google Doc. So by default, Google Docs are 8.5 by 11 inches. So if you haven't changed the dimensions of your Google Doc, that'll be the dimensions of your Google Doc. But by default, they also have a one inch margin around the entire border. So you will need to take away two inches from each dimension to make that fit within the margin. So if you're using a default shaped Google Doc, you want to make your drawing, your Google drawing 6.5 by nine inches, and then it will be exactly the right shape and size to fit within the margin of your Google Doc. So if that's the case, you can go ahead and do that, which to me will show you how to do in a second. But if you have changed the shape or size of your Google Doc and the amount of margin that's on it, you'll just need to go over to your Google Doc and click on file and then page setup and here you'll see the shape and size. So you'll see it's 8.5 by 11 inches because Timmy has not changed Timmy's Google Doc and all the margins are one inch. So this is the default setting, but if yours says something different, you can look at this and work out what shape and size your Google Drawing needs to be. But if you haven't changed it, you don't even need to do this at all. You'll just be in your Google Drawing and click on File and Page Setup and then click on the standard where it says standard and come down to custom. And now here where you've got inches, you'll need to type in whatever you want to be the inches. So because Timmy has got just a default shaped Google Doc, Timmy's entered in 6.5 by nine inches. So that's what Timmy's gonna use. And then just click apply. And now the drawing is the correct shape and size. So now you can start actually putting your watermark onto the Google drawing, and then you'll be able to insert it into your Google Doc. So if you wanna add some text to your watermark, you just get this text box here and drag it like that or whatever shape you want the text to be. And then you can type in some text. And then because this is a watermark going under your text, you probably don't want it to look exactly the way your Google Doc text, your Google Doc text looks. So you want to make it a bit different. So you might want to highlight it and change the size to 30 or even 48 or something and then you could change the color. When you're doing watermark text in Google Docs, it's best to make the color a quite a light color so it looks like it's sort of faded into the background and it's not overpowering against the actual text that's on the document. So Timmy likes to go sort of a light gray and it's a bit hard to see now, but once it's on the white of your Google Doc, it will look quite good. And you can also change some other things like you could change the font of it if you wanted, maybe to that and you could make it bold and maybe to me will make it centered. And so once you're happy with the format of your text, you'll then need to position it correctly. So if you want to take this square and drag it down, so it looks like that, you could use this circle up here to rotate it. And maybe if you want to have it diagonally going across the page like this, you could rotate it a bit more, drag it down here. Okay, so that's not perfectly positioned, but Timmy's just gonna leave it like that for the purpose of this example. So once you've got your text in there, you can also add some different shapes if you wanted, or you could add a logo or any kind of image you want. So Timmy's gonna show you how to add a picture. So just click on here 
and then click on upload from computer. And then this will look a little bit different depending on what computer you have. Timmy's using a Chromebook, but if you're using a Mac or Windows computer, there'll be a box similar to this letting you choose the file you want to use. So Timmy's just going to choose this picture here and you'll be either double clicking on it or click on it and then there'll be an open or select button down in the bottom right corner. So that's how you choose the picture. And this is too big, so Timmy's just going to drag it down a bit smaller. And you'll also probably want to do a thing like Timmy did with the text, where we make it sort of lighter and fade into the background. So to do that with an image, you click on Format Options, and then go down to Adjustments, and you'll see here Transparency. So you can slide this up a bit, and now the image is slightly transparent, so because it's on a light background, it's now looking a bit sort of light and faded into the background. So you can you can make it really transparent if you want, or not too transparent. Timmy's gonna leave it about halfway, and that looks good. So Timmy will close format options. So now it's starting to come together. Timmy might copy this, so if you wanna copy that, click here and right click and click copy, and then right click off of it and click paste. And now Timmy has two of them that look identical. So this isn't a very good watermark, but you can make it look however you want. Timmy's just trying to be really fast for the video. But so once you've got your watermark looking however you want it, you'll actually need to add your text into the watermark. So you'll need to go back to your Google Doc and copy all this text and then paste it onto the Google Drawing watermark. So we'll highlight right from the top and scroll all the way down to the bottom. And now you can press Control C on your keyboard if you're using a Chromebook or a Windows computer, or Command C if you're using a Mac, or you can right click and select copy, however you wanna copy it. So Timmy's just gonna press Control C, and then come back over to your Google Drawing, and now you'll need to add another text box. So Timmy's gonna click on text box, and just drag it so that it's filling pretty much all of the drawing. In fact, you probably want it to fill all of the drawings, so you can adjust that a bit. And then double click into the text box so that you get your cursor. And once you've got your cursor, you'll just need to paste. So you just press Control V if you're on a Windows computer or a Chromebook, or press on Command V on a Mac. So you do that and now you've got your text here. So now, as you can see, Timmy's got Timmy's text from the document, and it's got a watermark underneath it, but it's still not in Google Docs, it's just in Google Drawings. So now that you've done all this, you can actually go and put it into your Google Doc. But first of all, you'll need to name the drawing if you haven't done so already. So to me, we'll just name this watermark drawing. But if you have a lot of different watermarks, you may want to name them something more specific than just watermark. And so once you've done this, just go back over to your Google Doc where you've got all the text highlighted and press on the delete key on your keyboard to make all the text go away. And that seems a bit scary, but we're about to add the watermark in which has the text in it. So the text will reappear very soon. So now that you've done that, click on insert and come down to drawing. And you don't click new because that's the thing to be talked about before where you're creating a drawing within Google Docs. Come down and click from drive because the drawing we just did is now saved in Google Drive. And as you can see here is watermark drawing. So just double click on the drawing that you want to use. You might have to scroll through a lot of them if you've got a lot of drawings. So once you've cho chosen your drawing, you'll see down here insert drawings. So you can choose link to source or insert unlinked. So to me recommends using link to source most of the time because it means you can easily go and make changes to your drawing or watermark and then you, you can easily make changes from Google Doc and it will update in the Google Doc and things, so it's really good. But if you're going to be sharing it with a lot of people, you might wanna choose Insert Unlinked, but that will mean whenever you wanna make changes, you'll have to go back to the Google Drawing and make changes and then delete the drawing from the Google Doc and then insert it again. So it's a bit harder, but so Timmy normally recommends going with Link to Source. So then click on Insert and now, as you can see, we've got our text with the watermark behind it, and it looks pretty good. And because we chose link to source, you can actually quite easily make changes. So if you wanna make changes to it, just click on the drawing, and then click on this little arrow here, and then click on open source, and it will open up your Google drawing, and you can make any changes you want to it. So if Timmy puts a space in here, and types Timmy, 
and then so you can do any changes you wanted to if you wanted to make any changes. So then if you come back to your Google Doc and then refresh the page so that it updates, you'll see this update button in the top right corner. And when you hover over, it says update from watermark drawing. So if you click on update, it will update the drawing to show all the changes you made in the Google drawing. And now as, a, as you can see, Timmy is there as Timmy added it. So that's really cool. And that allows you to make changes to your drawing really easily. So that's really cool. And that's how you can add a watermark to your Google Doc. Unfortunately, there's not really an easier way than this, but that works really well and it's fairly easy. So that's really cool. And if you found value in this video, please click on the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button down below and click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every time Timmy makes a new video. So that's really cool. And that'll be the end of this episode of Tech Time with Timmy.